Hello and welcome Pisces to your November 2023 horoscope. My name is Jeff here with you at Raise Your Vibration TV to bring you the cosmic weather forecast for the month of November. Welcome Pisces. We are going to talk about so much today. We're going to talk about the new and full moons. We're going to talk about that lunar eclipse that happened a few days ago. Damn. We are going to lay it all down for you. We're going to talk about what's going to be affecting you this month and how you can improve because of it. So welcome, Pisces. Let's go ahead and take a look at the chart and see exactly what is going to be highlighted for this month. There is a huge focus on ninth house affairs. And because it's going to be happening in Scorpio, this is all about transformation and Going for higher ideals. This could be going back to school for something. This could be actually working at school. This is also changing your beliefs and transforming them. And what they do is also help you effectively communicate, transform the way that you communicate. A lot of uh, ninth house activity is learning new things being open, it's like your mind is very malleable at this time and you can take in a lot. You're watching, observing, and you're learning. But the thing is, is that there's a struggle in how to communicate these big ideas and these grand ideas that you have. And that lunar eclipse was trying to show you here in your third house to get them out and don't let that frustrate you. You know what I mean? Like, let that flow instead of restrict you and don't rely on the group it's more individually and how that feels for you you're going to feel your limitations start and your frustrations start to lift because i believe that you could be the major player and who's stopping this energy from balancing out here so we're going to talk about that later but that's basically the main focus here is ninth house issues. You know, it could be um, getting some legal matters taken care of finally, that kind of thing, signing some documents, getting things moving, you know. And speaking of moving, it could also be traveling. You could be traveling or making plans for travel and making those moves to get that done. Um, it could be long trips. It could be short trips. I think I think more or less you're going to decide this month that, you know what, I need a fucking vacation. And you do. You know, everybody needs some time off. So start planning that around this time. Don't worry about the money. The money will be there. And because it's all a focus on, you know, building abundance in your life right now and, and letting go of lack. That's huge for you too. So let's take a look at the calendar. All right, so let's go over some important dates if we can. First of all, November 4th, Saturn is going to finally be going direct, and it's been retrograde for a while. You know, your ruler is retrograde too, and on the 3rd, it's going to be opposite Venus. So, you know what, let's take a look at your chart really quick to see where that was. Yeah, it's the 1st and the 7th house. So, we've got to let go of some of these... Um, misconceptions about relationships, usually with working with a group of people. I mean, it could be harmonious. It's smile and wave kind of energy, but I don't want you to, to feel deluded by it. You know what I mean? Like there's a, I don't know. It just seems like you're very suspicious of people and you, you don't have to, you have to be grounded. You know, that mind is going, all right, let's go back to the calendar. <laughs> all right. So um, we also have Venus, the planet of love, moving into its sign Libra. So it's going to be lovely in Libra. So relationships are going to smooth out. You can kind of see this energy feels intense at the end of October and the beginning of November. And then all of a sudden, one by one, things start to smooth themselves out. Okay. Um, on the 10th, the planet of communication, Mercury, is going to be moving into Sagittarius. Now we're going to be going through this transition of getting out of Scorpio energy and into Sagittarius energy. Okay? Uh, let's see. Big news will probably be happening around the 10th, the 11th, the 12th, all the way leading up to this new moon on the 13th. So keep an eye on that. There's going to be... 
actually, the Monday the 13th will probably have some major news going down. Um, don't know what that is, but it could, I don't know, rebellion maybe, something like that. But a new moon is an excellent time to start things. It's a new cycle, new lunar cycle, big time energy. And it's in the sign of Scorpio and 20 degrees. So Scorpio is all about transformation. And with that sun opposite Uranus here, it's really rattling the cage for you to be like, yo, you Pisces, you got to change this. You know what I mean? Feel your way through it. Another thing I've been telling all the signs is to start practicing around this time because there's excellent, beautiful aspects going on, especially for you around the 17th. Uh, beautiful aspects, Mars trying Neptune and the sun trying Neptune. So it releases some of that, that foggy energy, you know, and, and really gets you inspired. And this new moon can be that, that jump point, you know what I mean? But you want to start getting into practicing daily gratitude. Thank you for my life. Thank you for everyone and everything in my life. Thank you for my job. Thank you for my car. Thank you for my little dog. Thank you for my, you know, it could be, you could go on and on and on. Thank you for this cup of coffee I'm drinking. You know what I mean? But when you put yourself in a gratitude state, you, you vibe up to that universal gratitude that's always abundant there. And you pull that in because you are an attractor and you pull that in and you have more things to be grateful for. Because like I said, the 17th is going to be an excellent weekend for you. And um, the 22nd, the sun moves into Sagittarius and that's a, that's a fire sign. So it's all about having fun, reaching higher limits and better beliefs and feeling that gratitude. Because I'm going to tell you, on Thanksgiving here in the States on the 23rd, the sun is going to be square Saturn. So I've been telling everybody, keep the politics at the dinner table to a zero, a minimum. Don't even talk about it. You know, everyone's got opinions. Don't You don't need to get involved in that because this looks like or another volatile kind of energy, you know, it's just very, it's get up and go. And it's like, the way I can describe it is you got the foot on the gas and the foot on the brake at the same time. Then on the 24th, we have Mars, the planet of action, war, getting things done, moving into Sagittarius also. So, you know, we've got Mars moving into this fiery energy. Sagittarius just keeps going and going and going, you know, then Mars is going to be square Saturn on that Saturday. <laughs> so definitely going to be feeling that energy leading up to the full moon here in Gemini. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, you may have to speak your truth, but you don't need to do it at the dinner table. You know what I mean? Do it in a side conversation. Anytime I cough like that during a reading, it's because some of you Pisces got to speak your truth. This is... this. Uh, Full moon in Gemini at four degrees is going to be happening in your fourth house. So you may be entertaining a lot and that may be frustrating you like, oh my God, what have I done? Slow and steady wins the race in this one. You got to be grounded. But with it in Gemini and an air sign, it's all about communication. Mercury is going to be square your ruler on that day. So it could be frustrating for you. That basically what this is doing is shedding some light on some of the things at home. So you may be neglecting some of the things at home. And at the end of the month, you finally, okay, all right, I, I, I can do this. You know, you may be starting projects or thinking about something, how you're going to decorate for the holidays. I mean, you're going to be multitasking a lot at home. So make sure with that full moon in your fourth house, it's a balance also to get a balance between work and home. You know, so maybe some time off would be good. It's it's shedding to light that, okay, maybe you're doing too much and the laundry's piled up here. You got guests coming over. Oh my God, what am I doing? Get out of the head and get into the routine and start moving towards, you know, clearing up the clutter and, you know, making your home a base, you know, that's, that's the thing and getting things done. If there's things that need to be done, tell your spouse, you need to get things done or, you know, the landlord or whatever it is, but it's 
communicating from home. You might be working from home at that time, but there's a lot going on in that situation at home. So just be aware of that, you know? All right, so what else do we have left? I believe that is going to be it for you this month, Pisces. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you. Don't forget to watch your tarot reading. That'll be out this month. Hit that bell notification so you know when that gets posted. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And always, Pisces, it's a pleasure. And I will see you in December.